Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another episode. Rewind, reverse, retry. Hey guys, my name is Dave. Welcome to another episode of History Talk. So, at a point um, on my spare time, I was going through a game called Persona 5. One of the characters within the game or groups, I should say, considers itself, or calls itself, Med Jed. Now, this particular name actually is a name of history, mythology to be more exact, and that is who we're going to be talking about today. Slightly different than the norm, usually it's a case of it impacts me in a specific way, but this is more something that I just found interesting and kind of want to dis discuss just because why not? Now, for those who don't know, and it's probably many of you out there, Medjed is actually um, kind of god of sorts um, from ancient Egypt times, um, who was kind of like what a lot of people consider the Grim Reaper. His appearance only showed up in one kind of circumstance, his or her, actually I have no idea which it actually is. And that circumstance was in hieroglyphs and what it looked like, it looked like, I'm just going to say that, uh, what it looked like was basically, you, you know how you'll have your children, go, we'll have children in general go out uh, for Halloween and they'll dress up in costumes and some of them, some of the most generic ones is a sheet over the body with holes for the eyes sometimes the mouth depending on the person and that's it it was always like a blank white sheet to look you know dress up like a ghost that's exactly what medjed medjed's depiction was it looked exactly like a kind of um stick figure drawing source so to speak of that uh it was very intro it's very an interesting concept because medjed obviously isn't real but Medjed was basically kind of like the Grim Reaper of Egyptian time, uh, to say the least. One of the few appearances uh, that this particular individual has is from a book called The Book of the Dead. Um, he worked under the god Osiris. Forgive me if I'm pronouncing that wrong. It's O-S-I-R-I-S, -I -I regardless. Medjed is one that, it's not like that, what I find intriguing, and this, I guess this is how you could say it impacts me in a way. I find it hit this particular individual intriguing because it strikes those downs with his eyes, but is never seen, never caught, never noticed, only depicted. But that's about it. And I find very, I've always found interest in mythological individuals. Um, like from the same uh, time era, Raj, or Raz, Raj. I always get the two mixed up. Anyway, um, but it was the the god of the sun, I believe, from back then, and it was one that was from like the same time era. It was from the same group too. It was Egyptian mythology. Um. What I find interesting about this is that it had Medjed had many connections to things like tombs, which makes sense since, you know, dead, Book of the Dead, shows up only in that circumstance, and since it takes the lives of angels in the same way that the Grim Reaper does, it would make a lot of sense for Medjed to kind of appear in that sense. But what I find even more intriguing about this kind of thing is the fact that It is barely ever discussed or referenced, and the only source is that one image that I discussed earlier. Now, the concept definitely led to more ideas in the future. Um, like, there's a reason I keep bringing up the Grim Reaper. Where do you? Who do you think that was based off of? The original idea was from way back then, yeah. 
But outside of the idea itself, there are a couple other reasons why Medjed catches my attention. One of those reasons being that Medjed is kind of just, mm, in a way, symbolic. I guess in a way, to, to base, this is, keep in mind, what I'm saying, it's analogy based off discussion, based off circumstance, stuff like that. The analogy is more the idea that Medjet is the kind, the, 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 the simple, symbolism behind this particular individual is nearing the end of life and taking what you got while you have it. Take it in and enjoy it kind of thing. Now, I guess in a way this is kind of how you could say this is how that person symbolized. Now, this is kind of from my perspective only. Keep in mind, I'm not saying symbolically this is actually what Medjed represents. In fact, there's very little known about this particular individual. Um, which is kind of saddening because if there was more learned or more known, I guarantee it would get more and more interesting over time. But it is what it is. With that being said, I'm actually going to leave this video here. For those of you who have ever actually heard of this character before, what are your thoughts on this individual? Um, I know there's not much known about this character, but regardless, what do you guys think? If you liked what I had to say about Medjet, why not push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore? If you really like this kind of stuff, why not consider subscribing to the channel? We've got a, uh, quite the playlist of History Talk uh, episodes already. There are not very many of them, but for what we got, it's pretty good. Click the link on the side of my head over here if you want to check that out. If you want to check out... Um, if you have interest of anything that might um, float your boat, you might be able to click the link on this side where YouTube will give you an idea of that. Not quite what you're looking for? Why not check out the channel itself if you have not yet? In the meantime, I'm going to head off. Thanks for tuning into to this um, episode of History Talk, guys, and I hope to see all of you in another video. See you guys later.